Okay, Naz, what's your favorite engine of all time? Uh, definitely Unity engine. Unity is cutting 265 job cuts as part of the company's reset. You haven't seen this, have you? No! <laughs> oh my god. Bro. How are you feeling? Was, was there new plans then? Like a desperate attempt to... Because they must be in like a terrible financial spot. If you're a broke boy, just say so. We're just gonna fire you all. Do you just wanna this give a quick recap of the Unity drama? So essentially they wanted to um, introduce a new system with the, with the like licensing and all that where you, indie developers, there was like tiers of how many sales you would do in. And then if you reached that threshold, you would be charged for every individual download that someone did on your game. So if, so, so if, if you did theoretically something that pissed off the mob, then loads of people could, the, you know, hype theoretically install and install install and install install and install and you would be charged out the fucking ass for that same reverse i didn't ways. even think of that way yeah yeah this seems like a great way to punish indie devs yeah yeah so that happened everyone freaked out told them that's a dog shit idea and if i remember correctly the ceo put his hands up and said oh well i guess it's time for me to take my severance package and retire yeah and now unity yeah. is cutting Close to 300 jobs, wow. So interim CEO says further structural changes are coming too. So it's gonna get worse, boys and girls. Mm -hmm. Now, Unity has confirmed plans to cut 265 jobs or roughly 4% of its global workforce as part of a company reset. The best thing about this reset is they didn't even need to do it in the first place. This is because of their fucked up decision. Now all these people that actually, you know, it's, and you know that most of these people they probably had nothing to do with that decision and probably think it's fucking stupid. And a lot of them probably told them it was fucking stupid. I, you know what? You, you're fine. right. You're absolutely right, right? Because I knew, they knew it was a bad idea and it was going to have some like pushback on it because they sold all their stocks on it. They, they shorted all their fucking shares in Unity preemptively for it to go down and then buy back probably and make a little bit of profit on the side. Then, like you said, the CEO just took a severance package and bounced. Yeah. And then the, the workers are the ones who, they, like, I, I don't want to sound like a fucking communist here, but the workers <laughs> are the ones to suffer then. And it's like, this is criminal. That's fucking criminal. People should be jailed. I yeah, like, it, genuinely believe that. It's the same. It's a little bit different, but somewhat similar with Bungie. You know, you look at, like, some of the... the, the developers that don't have anything to do with a lot of the stupid decisions and they're the ones that get fired while the ceo and the top people are bragging about record sales for the year and shit you're like you fucking dog shut up all right so the layoffs are related to the termination of professional service agreement unity had with digital company uh weather fx the deal was struck after unity acquired weather's, weather's technology and engineering division in december of 2021 for over $1.5 billion. Unity's quarterly report this month confirmed planned structural changes, which it said would likely include discontinuing certain products, reducing its 7,000 strong workforce and cutting its office footprint. The company has now said it will close in 14 locations, including Berlin and Singapore, pending employee consolation and reduce its office footprint to the remaining ones, including those in San Francisco. Employees will no longer be required to work from the office three days per week, uh, while office-based services will be reduced. This is sounding atrocious. Unity announced last month uh, that John Brakelidio, who is the CEO, oh, he's the president, was stepping down as president and CEO effective immediately. So he looked at the writing on the wall and said, wow, we're public enemy number one at the moment. Uh, time to cash in that money in the bank severus package and um, peace out, y'all. Like he basically oh. set fire to the house and left everyone in it and walked yeah, off. Pulled the golden parachute. I think he should, like, like I said, like you should not be able to just no repercussions. In fact, have gains from fucking a, a company over and then destroying people's livelihoods and just like wee on in, into your millions. You should not be able to do that, man. That's 
Mm. It's fucked, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, they're all taking a page out of Bobby Kotick's book. <laughs> yeah. You know, we have about one month left until Bobby is officially out. What a world. So his departure <laughs> came weeks after the company sparked a backlash from development community. Sorry, from the development community by announcing controversial monetization plans for its popular game development engine, which it partially walked back following the outcry. Emphasis on partially. 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 Former IBM president James Whitehurst, who was appointed as Unity's interim president and CEO, uh, told Reuters that the further changes designed to refocus the company were planned. While no additions have been finalized, it's clear that we'll reduce the number of things we're doing overall, he said. Now, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. Do you think it's possible that this dude has just walked in to the metaphorical house on fire yeah and it's up to him to make the fucked up decisions because of the dis because of the damage the last guy did yeah so absolutely. he's kind of looking at this being like well it's fucking his fault but i'm the one that has to make the call yeah i don't i don't blame james he could fuck it up in the future who knows but i don't blame his position he's in a fucking rough spot right now stepping up into what the other guy fucked up yeah it's not really fair on him is it because now he's no. gonna be hated because he's the one that had to fire everyone, <laughs> yeah. but he's but he's gonna yeah. be like, oh, but it was fucking him, man. Yeah, everyone's like, you fucking dog, James. I've lost my fucking job because of you. And he's like, hey, we're, we're, we're hemorrhaging money, man. I, uh, uh, everyone that, hates us. I didn't do it. It's a shame, isn't it, man? Because Unity, uh, it was like the go-to one, but everyone think, was jumping it. Everyone. Do you think this away. is gonna push people to fucking Unreal Five? Unreal 5, uh, yeah, definitely. And then there's some open source stuff. I, I think I spoke to you before about the guy that's making um, Road to Vostok. Mm -hmm. And he's, he was on Unity and he completely switched to a um, open source uh, university one. That, and and he's doing like, an, an immense job with it as well. So nobody nobody wants to do this because there's no certainty. They, part, they only partially walk back on a few things. And they could just bring it all back in in the future. Yeah. Um, shitty game companies have done that before, where they've partially walked back on DLC practices that everyone hated, and then just reintroduced it, and everyone forgot about it. Yeah, it's fucked, isn't it, man? Mm. Uh, for sure, this is a win for Epic Games. Yeah, Epic's loving Games, this yeah. at the moment. They're fucking loving it. And they need all the wins they can get. I mean, like, people get fucking triggered when you say this, but it's fucking Fortnite weirdos like, like you try to tell him you go hey epic themselves have said that they're kind of bleeding money they're spending so much fucking money to get these collaborations in Fortnite that they're looking at it as a long term but as of right now they're in the fucking negative and i know that is so hard to believe but it's from the horse's mouth and when you say that Fortnite people they fucking freak out dude they absolutely fucking freak out they buy 16 times the skins to yeah. Spite you. <laughs> they do.